Today, we're gonna cover the hardest part of discus technique. Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Bowman. I've thrown the discus over 211 feet, have competed at the US Olympic team trials and around the world in Sweden, Estonia, and Germany. And I love making videos on discus technique and training to help people throw farther. The whole reason we're doing the full spin is to create more energy so that when we get to the front of the ring, when we're here, we have more power to put on the discus. And each, each phase of the throw gets harder and harder. So if we break the throw into three phases, phase one would be the standing throw or the power position. Phase two being like a half turn or a wheel. Now would make phase three the full throw. And the hardest part of discus technique is getting around your left foot in the back of the circle. When you're learning how to turn on your foot, getting around your left leg in the back of the circle, a couple things are, are really important. The first thing is the concept that you turn on the ball of your left foot and your heel moves first. The second thing that's important is that your hip is underneath you. So as you turn here, this hip rolls under you rather than having your hip fall away when you turn like this. The third thing that's important to keep in mind getting out of the back of the circle is keeping your knees apart. If we don't control the, what this right leg is doing, we're gonna collapse, break, and fall into the circle this way. The best way to get around your, your left foot in the back or to think about it is keeping your lower body rigid and strong. What I mean by rigid is, is that your joints, like your ankles, knees, and your hips, they're contracted and flexed so that as you move around here, there's not wiggle in your legs. You just have strength in your legs. In the back of the circle, when we wind up, our first movement is that heel moving forward, and then we wanna end up with a, a V between our legs, this space between your legs, kind of like hugging a tree. If I was gonna hug a tree, I know it looks silly, but that's the concept. We're open and big, and our goal is to stay open and big as we get around the left as we get around the left foot. The first thing you gotta master is the ability to turn on the ball of your, your left foot. Being able to turn that heel forward, that's important. We wanna turn on the ball of our foot, heel moving forward this whole time. Second thing to master and be aware is your shoulders have your shoulders level. So as you turn here, shoulders are level, that's gonna set you up to be on balance as you move into the circle. Level shoulder. And then the third thing you need to master, get around the left, is keeping your knees apart or keeping this, uh, the V between your legs. And all you're really doing is, when you turn your left heel forward, you're externally rotating your left leg. And that's all you're gonna do with your right leg too. We wind up, this turns, when this right leg comes off the ground, it's externally rotated. So notice when my right foot comes off of the circle, it's not turning like this. It's staying wide and open. This turns, and then this goes out. So it's something like this. So we have a good turn on our left foot, our shoulders are level, and our both our legs are externally rotated. To be honest with you, when you're first learning to spin, this is tricky. And when you're first learning to spin, you almost have to be narrow to figure out what it's like, figure out what it's like to spin around your foot. So it's acceptable, when again, when you're first learning to spin, that you let your legs come together so that you can get around your left foot. But as you improve and as you get better and more comfortable, at this feeling of the left foot turning, you can have both knees open, externally rotated, and turn. If you find yourself in the category of, of a beginner thrower, this is what I want you to think of. You just need to master spinning on your left foot, on the ball of your foot. And to do that, you require strength in your left, strength in your left ankle and in your left hip. Again, if you're a beginner thrower, the second thing I'd have you do 
is then work on level shoulders. So how can you turn that foot and keep yourself square? Again, notice, as a beginner, I'm not worried about this right leg. I'm just figuring out this left side of the ring. Level shoulders, strong left leg. And then as that gets more comfortable, and that's easier and easier to do, and you have control over your shoulders and control over your foot, then you can start to also think about your right leg. Again, we want this, once as you get good, this right leg comes off this way and your knees stay wide. If all of this is strong, if your hips are rolled underneath you and are in the ball of your foot, you'll get, you'll get all the way around and make it into the circle. The last thing I'll say before I stop today's video is you wanna come off your left foot as fast as you can after you've turned. So we wind up, this turns, we come around. Then the process of moving into the circle is pulling that left foot off, putting your right, putting your right foot down in the middle. And you, want to, and you want to pull that left foot off the ground as fast as possible. That is the key. When this left foot gets stuck on the ground, watch what happens. Notice here, my hips roll in and they break and I lose that tension to my legs and this gets stuck on the ground. But the faster this left foot comes off, the more power we keep in our legs. And again, the key is to increase your speed through the circle is related to how fast your left foot comes off and how fast it comes down. The faster that happens, the faster you throw, the farther you throw. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more cool videos on throwing. And um, I just redid my website. Go check it out. Link's up here. Now I'll throw like that, I feel like my left foot stopped as my right foot came around, broke at my hips. That's pretty good.